Awesome. Thank you for taking some time to speak with our local media. We will go ahead and get started with questions. And the first question will be from Sal. Hi, Curtis. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Congratulations. Welcome to Buffalo. Uh, could you just walk us through the process? I know you have a relationship with Joe Brady, but why Buffalo? And uh, how did this all come together for you? Um, I was it was I was super excited, you know, when the opportunity came. Um, you know, having some experience with Joe Brady and Carolina, you know, definitely influenced me a lot. Also, you know, uh, from the outside looking in, you know, um, great team. Uh, you can tell they got that family bond. Uh, great coaching staff. A uh, great organization as a whole. You can tell by how far they, you know, they they, they go every year and um, just about. Uh, how they how they move around, you know, how they uh, carry themselves. And then, I mean, most guys who come to the NFL, I'm probably the most famous dude in their high school. I'm reading about Erasmus Hall. Holy cow! I mean, tell me a little bit about Erasmus Hall. I mean, you got some Hall of Famers in the NFL and Barbara Streisand. I mean, the uh, Fisher, the chess guy. Holy cow! What was that like going at that place? Uh, you know, I'm I'm from the city, New York City, born <laughs> and raised Brooklyn. Um, you know. It's, it's surreal, you know, to be a kid from where I'm from, you know, make it this far, you know, be able yeah. to play football for so long at this level. You know, it's, you know, I'm forever grateful. You know, I always got to thank God for sure. Um, just happy and excited because kids get to see me um, accomplish these goals and it gives them hope that, they, you know, that they can make it to where I am because it's, it's tough sometimes when where we from, you don't have too many examples. So I'm happy that I could be that example for the kids. No, sounds like a, a great place. Thanks, man. And congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you. Yep. Uh, congrats, Curtis. Um, and uh, just curious in the free agency process, um, whether, you know, uh, Josh Allen reached out to you at all or, or since you've signed, whether he reached out to you at all and, and, and what your thoughts are on potentially playing with him. Yeah, after I signed, um, definitely reached out, you know, spoke to him. I'm definitely excited, you know, um, I've, I've watched them, you know, you know, last year when I didn't have games or, you know, came on TV, I watched them and, you know, exciting quarterback, tough, you know, hard nose. But I mean, my job, you know, is just to make the game as easy as possible for him, you know? Um, and I feel like that's just trying to, it's just getting open as fast as I can, making the game easy for him. And then similarly, um, a few weapons in this offense, I, I'm sure, uh, you know, Stefan Diggs's game is familiar. Um, Tell me a little bit about how you can complement some of the guys that are in Buffalo already and and where you see yourself fitting in this offense. Uh, it's definitely uh, a lot of talent, you know, on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, I'm definitely excited to be here. Um, you know, my it's, it's just when I get the ball on my hands, I feel like I'm dynamic. You know, um, that's what I'm here to bring, you know, um, just some explosive plays and be a team player, you know, wherever they need me to be, whatever they need me to do, whether it's block, you know, catch the ball, whatever it need to be, I'm here to be that team guy, you know, um, help us, you know, make plays. Thank you. Thank you. Brooklyn Saints and Mo Betta's finest. Curtis yeah. Samuel, Mookie Hawkins, Waffle Sports Today. What's up, my guy? I'm good, baby. You know your research, uh huh. <laughs> well, no, I did my research a little bit more in depth to that, but you know, okay. uh, you know, I host the Nationals every year, you know, down in Florida, and you know, yeah. Big Roy always talks to me about you and everything that you got going on, and so here it is. Here we are. I know that you're gonna be doing the camp real soon in Buffalo, so I'm excited to have a guy yeah. of your caliber here in Buffalo. Now, my guy from the Big Apple, the Troublemaker, said you still let Speedy catch you. But, you know, you know, we, we, <laughs> I don't feed into that. <laughs> don't feed into that. <laughs> right. Absolutely, man. But uh, your play, your playmaking ability um, in, in, you know, your game breaker four three forty. How does your skill set fits with this Bills uh, offense? Um, I feel like it fit really well. We got a lot of there's a lot of talent on this team, you know, running back, quarterback, you know, the whole group, whole line, tight ends, everybody. Um, like I said, my job is to, you know, to get open and create and create uh, mismatches where I, I'm at on the field. And I feel like I do a great job at that. Absolutely, man. And I know the familiarity with Coach Brady is one of the reasons, but what else persuaded you to come here to Buffalo? I mean, you, you see the team, you see how good they are. You know, why not? You know, that's the question. Why not come here? 
Right. Sounds good to me. Right. And uh, message to Bill's Mafia, man. You know, we have one of the biggest fan bases there is. So what would be your message to Bill's Mafia? Uh, I'm grateful to be here. You know, I see the excitement online. You know, I'm excited as well. And I can't wait to get this thing going. Last but not least, what number will you be rocking? Uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my guy. Appreciate you. I'll see you soon. All right. Thank you. Yes, good afternoon. George Redney, Challenger, Challenger Community News, uh, Curtis. Uh, welcome to Buffalo. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing good. How about you? Great. Doing well. And from your career, what was it about working with Joe Brady uh, where you had look like you put up your best numbers uh, when he was the offensive coordinator there in Washington? What was it about working with him that got you those num that helped you uh, achieve those numbers? Um, I really just trusting in him, you know, to put me in the right spots, you know, the right location to be the best playmaker I could possibly be on the field. Um, and I feel like he did he did a great job at that. Do you consider yourself more a slot receiver or a wide receiver, or you come out of the backfield as well? As, are you a multi-dimensional type of uh, player? Um, I, yeah, I don't really put myself in one role, you know. Um. I'm grateful that I'm able to do so much, and I feel like that helps the team out a lot. Okay, and last one there. I know uh, uh, Mookie touched on it a little bit. What was it? That was it, what was it that separated Buffalo from some of the other uh, teams that you uh, possibly were looking at? Um, yeah, like I said, just you know, uh, just watching them from the outside in. You know, you just you just see how everybody conduct themselves. You know, they they're winning. Um, it was a winning organization. You know, I just was excited. You know, the fan base was insane. You know, I've I've I've, I've been a lot of other places. You know, I, I'm always forever grateful for every stop that I took along my journey. You know, um, I wouldn't be who I am today without all those people and all the support that I get. But I'd definitely be, you know, excited to play in front of these fans. And last but not least, what is it about Ohio State receivers? You guys seem to be able to. Uh, become a, a really good NFL player. You guys succeed in the NFL very well. What is it about? Um, I, just, I just really feel like, um, you know, from the day we walk in the door, we told straight what it is. You know, um, it, nobody's getting baby. You know, it's, it, we got to go in the building. And we got to get our work done. You know, hard nose. That's that's all we know. All right. Thank you very much, and look forward to seeing you at training camp. Absolutely. Hi, Curtis. John Warrell with the Associated Press. Welcome, well, uh, and welcome, and congratulations. Thank you. Just, um, you talked about you know wanting to be in in, in Buffalo and, and just uh, the things that they've done in in Buffalo. What about the lure of the playoffs? And you talked about them going deep in the playoffs over over the course of the years. You've not had a really had a chance to taste the playoffs in the NFL. Um, you know, and and after a successful season, you know, winning a national championship in twenty fourteen with Ohio State. What what about that lure? Um, I feel like it would be something special, you know, to be a part of, you know, um, like we know we still got, you still got to put in the work, you know, it's nothing is guaranteed, you know, nothing is given, you still got to put in the work, um, which I'm excited for, but I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm just, a, I'm just ready to, you know, to be a part of, of, of something special. And, and a lot of players talk about wanting to play with good quarterbacks and, and, and what is it about Josh Allen that intrigues you about him? Um, big body, you know, um, he always extends plays because it's hard to take him down. You know, he, he's going to put the ball up in the area. He's going to give you a chance. Um, very good, very good quarterback. I mean, seems like a very good leader. You know, everybody loves him. So, you know, that's a guy that you want to play for. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, Curtis. Dick Sabato with the Niagara Gazette. Um, just looking through through your past here. In your first few seasons in the NFL, you you played you know, split wide more often than not. Um, and then when Joe took over as the offensive coordinator, you kind of moved more to a slot or, um, you know, out of the backfield, out wide, doing a whole lot of different things. What went into that change at that time with with Joe? Um, it's just really about, you know, whatever the play may be or just whatever situation it is. You know, sometimes every game plan is different, you know, based off the team based off of whatever. Um, we felt like that was comfortable at the time. You know, that's what we went with. Did you feel like those first few years before, you know, kind of the switch was made that you were able to use all of your different skill sets? I know you were running back in high school and did a whole bunch of different stuff at Ohio State, but didn't really get a chance to do that early in your career. 
Um, yeah, I did it. I mean, it's fine. You know, um, whatever system I'm playing, you know, I got to adapt to the system and make the most of my opportunities. You know, I never, you know, look for any excuses. You know, whatever the system is, I got to go out there and do my business and do what I got to do. So coming here, you know, whatever the situation is, you know, I got to go out there and lock in, you know, and and do what, what, I, what they brought me here to do, make plays. Um, obviously, your production has gone up since you, you've become mostly a slot player. What What's so comfortable about being in that position or that place on the field for you? Um, It just is it's a little tougher for defenders because I got multiple ways I can go. You know, a lot of DBs can use the sideline as their best friend, you know, especially if you're to the boundary. But in a slot, there's <laughs> a whole bunch of room. <laughs> we got to figure this out together. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Hey, Curtis, AJ Feldman here in Rochester. Uh, congratulations on the signing and welcome to Buffalo. Yeah, thank you. I know you talked about Joe Brady before a little bit, but, you know, he came in midway as the season as the offensive coordinator in Buffalo. He was as the quarterback coach for a while. So you've kind of had more time to work with him as an OC than anybody here in Buffalo. Just talk about what it was like being under him for, you know, that time. And, and what about it made you want to reunite with him this time around? Um, I feel, definitely feel like he's a good leader. Um, somebody you can put your trust in just because I've seen it. You know, I've seen him put a lot of guys in great situations. Um, he just get the most, he gets the most out of his players. And I, I feel like that's a testament of who he is, you know, um, about, about how much guys respect him and they lean on him and they trust him. You talked about Josh Allen being able to extend plays. You know, a guy he's been compared to before physically wise is Cam Newton, who you obviously played with before. Just if you want to maybe talk about your success playing with a quarterback like that and how you can kind of work with someone who can be mobile and extend the place. Yeah, I mean, definitely, you know, that that helps out a lot, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, my job is to get open as fast as I can. So maybe he don't have to scramble out the pocket, you know, and need more time. But, I mean, you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, we just got to go out there and make it work, be on the same page. All right, thanks, and congrats again. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Curtis, Elena Getzberg with ESPN. Welcome to Buffalo. Oh, yeah, glad to be here. <laughs> um, I was curious, obviously, you didn't end up overlapping very long with Brandon in Carolina, but when he brought you in, did he talk at all about, you know, drafting you and now uh, getting you to Buffalo? Yeah, he had, he had told me about it. Um, I didn't really know the extent of, you know, as far as everybody that was involved in it, but I guess now it makes sense I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> were there like did you know that the bill when did you first kind of hear that maybe the bills were interested was this a team that like you've had you know going into free agency you had your site on it obviously they know you very well since with Brandon and all that but when did I guess they kind of get it on your radar I mean I definitely have my eye on them for multiple reasons I mean obviously y'all know I ain't got to say it um but yeah I've been I've been seeing how things go and um just weighing my options and then you know everything brought me here for sure. Congrats. Thank you. That's all the questions we have for today. Thanks, Curtis. Yeah, thank you.